In our previous video, we learned about the division algorithm for polynomials. Today, in this video, we will see some examples based on this. Divide x raised to power 2 plus 2x minus 15 by x minus 3 using division algorithm. In this question, x square plus 2x minus 15 is the dividend and x minus 3 is the divisor. In the previous video, we saw that to get the first term of the quotient, we divide the term with the highest power of the dividend, that is, x squared, by the highest power of the divisor, that is, x. This will give x, which is the first term of the quotient. Now, multiply the divisor by this quotient, and write it below the dividend. Then, subtract the term written below from the dividend so that the remainder is 5x minus 15 which becomes the new dividend for further processing. To get the second term of the quotient, divide the highest power term in the new dividend that is 5x by the highest power term of the divisor x. By doing this, we get the second term of the quotient, 5. Multiplying the divisor by this quotient and subtracting it by writing it below the new dividend will give the remainder 0. You must remember that when the remainder is either 0 or its power becomes less than the power of the divisor, then the division process stops. Hence, the process of dividing ends here. Thus, on dividing x square plus 2x minus 15 by x minus 3 gives the quotient x plus 5 and the remainder as 0. Do you know that when the division process ends, if the remainder is 0, the divisor is called a factor of that dividend? Let us see another example. In this question, we will divide the first polynomial by the second polynomial and check the correctness of the division algorithm. You can see that the given polynomial, dividend and divisor is not in the standard form. Before starting the division process, write the polynomials in their standard form, that is, decreasing order of powers. Now, let's begin the division process. To get the first term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of the dividend by the highest degree term of the divisor. Now multiply the divisor by this quotient and write below the dividend. After subtracting, the remainder we get is 8x raised to the power 3 minus 8x raised to the power 2 minus x plus 3. This becomes the new dividend. Repeat the division process with the new dividend, which is 8x cubed minus 8x square minus x plus 3. Now, perform the division process with the remaining terms, minus 4x square plus 7x plus 3. Now, the power of the remaining terms, 5x minus 1, is less than the degree of the divisor. Therefore, we cannot proceed with the process of division. After the division process, we get 3x cubed plus 4x minus 2 as the quotient and 5x minus 1 as the remainder. Now, if on multiplying the quotient with the divisor and adding it to the remainder, it becomes equal to the dividend, then the division algorithm is verified. Today in this video, we have seen some examples based on division algorithm. In the following video, we will see what common mistakes can be made while solving these type of questions.